take a look at the tail of the tape for our main event of the evening. Rodriguez, four years older. Parazio has the height advantage. Both fighters weighed in under the 140 pound limit. Let's throw it up to Andrew Park and get this main event started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. This ISK 140 pound catch weight is brought to you by Synergy Pro Wellness. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This warrior stands at five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 138.2 pounds. Representing the concrete jungle, New York, New York. Fighting out of Lucha, New York, by way of Henzo Gracie Academy. Help me welcome, Nick Pinorazio. Introduciendo la esquina roja. Este luchador se encuentra cinco pies, seis pulgadas, pesando en 139.2 libras, luchando fuera de Brooklyn, Nueva York. Luchando fuera de Iron Rooster. Presentando Ronnie Rodriguez. Your referee for this main event, Russell Velada. The stage is set here for our main event of the Battle Garden Flex Fight Series, kicking off our summer of fights. Been a great night of MMA and kickboxing action. And here is our main event. Ronnie Rodriguez in the red trunks. Nick Parazio in the all white. Three three minute rounds. And a catch weight of 140 pounds. Dan, as always, keeping the tradition alive. We are on our feet for the main event on our feet and ready to see a good one here. Both fighters experienced, both fighters looking to climb those rankings. Ultimately looking for that title shot. Nick had a very bold prediction of a first round knockout. Oh! Ooh. And as I say, he lands a big right hand and then runs into a big takedown from Ronnie Rodriguez. That was a shift of momentum right there. A huge right hand from Parazio. Now he finds himself on his back. It's a brutal sport. Ronnie now working out of the guard. Parazio looks active off his back though. You see him framing with his left foot on Ronnie's hip. He's gonna use that to make some space, hip escape. He's building up. Framing on his left hand and gets right back up. Well done by Nick Parazio. Parazio has the height advantage, you can see that. It's pretty evident. 3-0, ranked at number four in North Carolina. His last win came in 2020. Well, that ranking got him the, the main event spot here tonight in New York. He's got a big crowd with him too. Ticket selling is a big part of the game here. It's been a great crowd tonight. Rodriguez going for the second big slam. That's two takedowns for Rodriguez with a minute to go here in round number one. Now let's see how these takedowns start to add up. Let's see if Nick gets back to his feet just as quick. And he's framing back up again, looking like he's going to try to show a guillotine, but Ronnie's able to shut that off and, and drag him back down and pin his shoulders down. The judges like takedowns. They like do. Big slam and then followed up with another takedown. I'd like, I'd like to see a little bit more done with the takedown, though, if I was a judge. If I was in the judging position, I'd like to see... Some, some activity in the takedown, something done with it, some right, strikes. following the takedown. Yeah. I, like, I like how active Parazio is though. He's, he's framing up, he's sitting up, getting the angle, showing the threat of a guillotine, but Ronnie, Ronnie's on point, notices the, the setup and is able to 
move on and transition and pin Perazio back down again. Now, I was saying how I'd like to see more done with the takedown, but that's easier said than done. Ronnie's dealing with somebody in Nick Perazio who's got a very active guard, it's tricky. It's not easy to just start throwing punches and if you get too wild, you find yourself in the submission attempt. And Ronnie's being smart here. He's trying to establish his position first. Round number one comes to a close. Two big takedowns from Rodriguez to Perazio. Very game. Yeah, there wasn't much done in, in the guard there in terms of action, but what I did see is Perazio being active. He was hipping, framing with his feet, framing with his arms. He was setting up submissions or sweep attempts. Ronnie was able to see them coming and neutralize them, but Stasio was active off his back, and that's why Ronnie wasn't able to get off as much ground and pound. Yeah, do you think he should have made a little bit more of an effort to land some ground and pound? A few shots there, even if it was to the you know shoulders, even if it didn't land, just to give the impression that, you know, I'm going to throw. Yeah, I think, though, he did the right thing. He had to respect Perazio's guard, and he, he showed it the, the respect it deserves because he was active. You know, after that first round, Maybe he'll get a little bit more familiar with this guard and start to get a little bit more busy. Round number two underway here. Ronnie Rodriguez begins round two like he ended round one. And that is on top with another takedown. That's number three on the night for Ronnie. Let's see what he does here now, Dave. And he's, he's getting busier already. He's, he, now he's got to half guard. And now you'll see Ronnie start to be able to open up a little bit more with ground and pound. Now that he's established half guard. He's cleared Perazio's full guard. Good head position out of Ronnie. He's got his head in the right spot. He's driving Perazio's head into the cage. He's got to look to pin that left shoulder down a little bit more. At what point does Perazio need to do something off his back? You know, he's, he's like you said, he's, he's showing some, some signs of life, but let's be honest here, now we're almost four minutes into the fight. He's been on his back for a majority of it. Yeah, he's got he's to be a little bit more urgency in trying to get up or try to get a, a sweep. Eh, easier said than done. Ronnie's doing all the right things. He's got his hips in real tight. He's driving Stasio's knees up and killing his hips. And as I say that, he's able to pass he looks like he's going to try to take the back now. Rodriguez with a kick here. They get back up to their feet. Perazio, though, doing all the right things. He's able to get back to his feet there. They haven't been on their feet too much in this fight. Don't know how to properly assess who's got the better striking. If, I, if I'm Perazio, I, I don't want to have my back to the cage. I don't want to give Ronnie the ability to shoot and pin me on the cage and be able to start grappling. I want to make him earn his takedowns out in the center of the cage. We've got a little bit of blood coming down the bridge of Perazio's nose. Keep an eye on that. You, you can see the threat of the takedown starting to affect Perazio's stand-up. A little bit hesitant, a little bit gun-shy to let some of those strikes go. Oh, spinning back front kick. Gets the crowd excited here as we close in. Under a minute here in round number two. Ronnie Rodriguez seemingly in control with several takedowns. This is the most time they've spent on their feet. Not a lot of strikes being thrown, which doesn't exactly bode well for Perazio. This is, the, this is the spot in the fight where he needs to... There it is, another takedown, yeah. number four. I'd like to see Perazio box a little bit more. He's throwing those kicks without setting them up, and Ronnie's able to catch them and, and, and turn them into takedowns. Well, he had about 90 seconds there of stand-up. Didn't exactly throw a lot of uh, punches there, but like you said, it was because he was thinking about the threat of a takedown. Yeah, the threat of the takedown changes the dynamic on the feet. I like Nick's guard though, he's active, his hips are always moving. He's trying to frame his feet to the hips and build his frames back up, which he's done successfully a few times. The final round of the evening on one of the 
most exciting cards of the year, Flex Fight Series, the Battle Garden. Will it be Ronnie Rodriguez moving forward, or will it be Nick Parazio? I think we're gonna take a look at that cut. Could it be a broken nose? It should be all right. Got a thumbs up from the doctor here, ringside, the cage side. You guys are warriors. Third and final round, our main event. Ronnie Rodriguez in the red trunks. Nick Carrazio in the white. This fight has been controlled by Ronnie Rodriguez with several big takedowns. The takedowns have cleared. Oh, a big Ooh. left hand finds the mark from Rodriguez. Ronnie still looks very light on his feet. He's got a little pep in his step. He's bouncing around there and he's letting his jabs go now. You see he's got the confidence now. He knows he's got the, the wrestling in his pocket. He's gonna let start letting his hands fly a little bit more. And I like to see that, a good uh, adjustment out of Ronnie. Right, Rodriguez looks confident. He looks like, listen, I'll stand and box you, but I'll take you down as well. There's a nice right, left hand finds the mark. Parazio's in trouble. Ronnie with the body lock takedown. Right, right to full mount. Wow. That was Beautiful. an impressive se sequence of events. Final two minutes here. Parazio in the position he's found himself often in this fight that's on his back. Rodriguez has done a phenomenal job imposing his will. I like the head position right now to Ronnie. Ronnie's driving his head into Parazio's jaw, flattening him out. I'd like to see Ronnie use that head position and posture up and start punching. He's got inside bicep control. Landed a few there. And there it is, he postures up. Well done by Nick Parazio. Beautiful timing to start bucking his hips right there and make some space and get Ronnie off of the full mount. But Ronnie transitions beautifully to this three-quarter back mount. This is Parazio's last stand. He's got close to a minute left here. He knows he's losing this fight. He's got to get it standing up and he's got to land some bombs. This is a, a very familiar position a la Khabib and Connor. This is where Con uh, Khabib does a lot of his work, although now they've gotten back to their feet more. That wrist ride, far side wrist control, getting some ground and pound going with that right hand. That's, that's the Khabib blueprint. Stasio though, you gotta give him credit with a wrestler like Ronnie. He's still been able to get back to his feet. He's doing what, he, what he's supposed to do, but Ronnie, is a lot to deal with. He, even though he's been able to get back up, Ronnie's been on him and pressuring him the whole time. Look at this. Takedown. Relentless. The drive and the endurance from Ronnie Rodriguez, from my count, I think that's been his fifth or sixth takedown. And right back to full mount. Full mount, Parazio's in a world of trouble here. Final 30 seconds. All right, Ronnie's got one hook in. He's got wrist control. He may have a head and arm triangle here. 10 seconds remaining. You go for it and you just kind of ride it out if you're Rodriguez. Yeah, I would try to put the exclamation point, start throwing some, some bombs here. Really, really put the exclamation point on it. He gets neon belly and he starts opening up with some hammer fists. We go to the scorecards here in our main event. Ronnie Rodriguez from start to finish. And several big takedowns. Great main event. A really good main event on what was a phenomenal card, a flex fight series, inaugural edition. The battlegrounds here at the Stereo Garden. Really good card, top to bottom. Ronnie Rodriguez seemingly should get the win. He'll move on to four and one in his career. First time in the cage since 2018. Didn't look like it. Didn't look like there was a lot of ring rust on him. <laughs> that was a really good performance. He looked like a very complete mixed martial artist. That's up to Nick Parazio too. Fought nine tough, tough minutes. Never gave up. Just give an effort to the final bell. But let's throw it up to Andrew Park. He's got the final decision here. We'll figure out who is the winner of our main event.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three three-minute rounds, we go to our judges' scorecard for our decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27 with your winner by unanimous decision, Ronnie Rodriguez. Ronnie Rodriguez. First fight after a long layoff. I spoke to you in the back before the fight. You told me you hadn't wrestled in a long time. It didn't look like it tonight. Three years, man, three long years. I just want to thank God. When I'm in here, I feel free, I feel alive, I feel like I got a purpose. So first, I just want to thank God. I want to thank my team, John Calcine at the Grappling Club in, in Brooklyn. I want to thank Iron Rooster Muay Thai. We got the baddest fucking strikers in the whole country, and we're fighting to the death in a fucking dungeon. Thank you. Well, Tonight, you look like a complete mixed martial artist. You look good on your feet, getting your jab busy in that third round, your takedowns, your control on the ground. Everything looked like it was firing on all cylinders tonight. It looks like you've been putting in a lot of work in between the layoff. What do you got coming up going forward? What are you looking for? We're only going up from here. This is my first fight in three years. I want to stay, I want to stay active. So thank you guys for the opportunity, and uh, I'll be back. I look forward to calling some more of your fights. Congratulations, enjoy your victory. Guys, give it up for your winner, Ronnie Rodriguez.